All right, boys, real quick, let me show you something, right? Let me show you something, let me show you something. What is secret? <laughs> what is this? What is secret, bro? Look, okay, okay, look, right? So you can have strings, right? You can have a uh, number, I think. Yeah, number, range, number. So you can have values, right? And then the value is like this. So it's like, um, you could have enums, you could have, you know, this. What is this? Bro, if I make something like, I can make a variable, right? I can say local, I don't know, a variable. I can make it equal to a secret. What is this? So now this variable is going to be a secret. But I can't make it a type secret, I think. Let me see. Can I make it a secret? Oh, I can. So secret is a data type. But yeah, what is this, bro? <laughs> and I, I tried doing this on local script as well, and you can. What is, it's an empty table, right? Now, obviously, if you're not... Because documentation, so I looked this up, right? So, and someone said, I found a keyword highlighted in blue called secret. I don't know what this does. Please help, right? And apparently what happens is that you can store API keys, right? Um, and so, yeah, yeah. So the way it does that is it basically lets you store like um, keys or like, like you can think of them as like kind of passwords in a way for external HTTP requests. So basically like, um, yeah, so it's not stored in your game's code, right? So basically, it's going to be a string, which is stored on like some some website, right? Which then, if you wanted to get that string from that website, um, this secret would act like almost the password. You know, that's kind of what I understand it, right? So like, let's say if your game, like, you can create a string, and then by using secret, you can create a password for that string, and then you send it, you know, like to that website. And then when you try and get the string from the website, then like it needs the password to actually be able to read the string, right? To in decrypt it. Now, are you going to be using this always? No, not really. Um, clearly this is a data type, you know, I have no idea what an API key is that much or HCPP requests. Um, I'm not even too sure how to actually use this. Like, cause yeah, we have secret and, and then what do we do with it? Cause someone said like, oh yeah, like you can, you can store it as a string, but how does that work? Is it like string dot, like do we, it doesn't have anything or do I say some, or do I make it like local variable is equal to uh secret like that? Can I, is this, this, this probably won't work. What if I print secret? Actually, what will happen? Let's see what happens if I print secret. Nothing. Ooh, wait, what if I do this? What if I create a function and then I return like a string? Hello. What if I return hello in the function and then we put that on the secret? What happens? Nothing. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, so secret, I don't think works. Can I make secret equal to something? Hello. Or is that is that not going to work? Built-in global secret is overridden. Okay, whatever. Local var equals hello, var equals secret. Is that what you do? I'm so confused, bro. Real talk. Print var. What happens now? What happens if I print the secret? Nil. Okay. Okay. You know, you know what probably happens? It's probably something like, um, you probably use like two type. So you can do, um, like type. You can like change. So can you do two secret? Man. Okay, give me a second. Print two string var. So what if I, we, t we have, okay, so, okay, whatever. Yeah, local, local var, I'll just, yeah, there we go. So what if, yeah, we make it a secret and then we try and print as like it as a string. What's going to happen? Nil. Okay, so as a string, we can't, we can't make it a string. So yeah, that's basically it about secrets. Haha, <laughs> they're like keys or something like that, right? So probably you'll never use them. This was a useless tutorial. Um, so obviously you need to go sign up to my newsletter to gain more use more useless emails. Um, and yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching.